Organization is extremely important if you plan on being a video creator for any amount of time. So I'm gonna show you how YouTubers stay organized and we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick, welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, facts are facts. If you're gonna do anything for a long period of time and you're gonna have any type of workload involved, you gotta get organized. Personally, I use Trello.com for this, and I'm gonna show you how I use Trello to stay on top of my YouTube schedule and to stay on top of my business. We're gonna need to be in front of the computer for this one, so let's go. Okay, so here we are inside of Trello, and how I use Trello is basically, these are my personal boards. What a board is, is this is basically your organization set. Basically what I do is I break them down by things that are direct income generators. I color code those in green. Um, anything YouTube related, I make that something that's red. And then the blue is just kind of a miscellaneous thing. It's just kind of the default, so I just leave it that way. Now this is my view and how I use it, but you can also do all types of really cool customizations with Trello. What's gonna really matter to you is this YouTube release schedule. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this. And then once I'm inside of this, I can actually see the releases that are over here on the side, or I can click up here and I can go into my calendar view. And once I'm in my calendar view, you can see that I get an overview of what's going to happen in September. And how I use this is basically I color code them. I add the labels to them in green if they're finished, if basically they're recorded and all they need is editing, then I have these in green, like, hey, these are ready to go. Anything that's in red means that there's something that I have to do in order to get that video ready to go. So as an example, in this case, I'm gonna go down to the Marcus collaboration and I'm gonna click on this and this says, okay, here, and these are things that I need to do for this. So basically first Marcus has to send me his video and then from there I have to do the SEO stuff for it and then from there I have to record my intro and outro and then this one I made a note that I'm going to self edit this one instead of sending this one to the editor. So basically this is a breakdown of things that need to happen for this video to get finished. So once I mark all of these off then I would change this to green and then I know that one's ready to roll and then all I have to do is edit that one and it's ready to go. Also you can add attachments. So if there's something that you say, hey, you know, I need to make sure that I have this particular photo, this particular zip file, this particular thing that's in Dropbox or Google Drive, then you can pull that right here or you can pull it from your computer to where basically you have everything that you need inside of each one of these individual cards. And as far as the labels are concerned, what I was saying before about changing the colors is once this one's complete, I would just go up to labels here, I would click that, and then I would click on the green to say that this one is pretty much ready to go. My personal favorite thing about Trello is this right here, these to-do list, basically saying when I open it up, it gives me a real quick overview of, hey, this is exactly what I need to do in order to get this video ready to fly. Now this gets even more powerful. In this situation, let's say that I wanted to send this to Marcus so that we can collaborate on this board together. Then what I would do is I would basically hit share and more, and then this right here would actually give him access to this card. So then he would see, you know, what it is that he needs to do. And then I would see what it is that I need to do. And then we could get it wrapped up that way. And then as each one of us works on something, then we can come in here and just check it off of the list. And then we know exactly what needs to be done in order to make this video live. Now, in addition to all of this, something that is really cool with Trello is if you go up to the show menu option, they will show you basically where you can filter cards. So let's say I only want to see the stuff that's ready to go then I would click on that and you can see the red ones go away. Now let's say if I wanna so only see the stuff that needs work, then I click on that and then I know, hey, you know, this is the stuff that I need um, or these are the videos that actually need me to do additional things before these are ready to go. So it really helps big time for the sake of organization, for the sake of, you know, me knowing, hey, you know, these are the things that are ready to go. These are the things that still need some work. And then of course, in my case, because I do a lot of live streaming, these, I don't put any label on these at all because these are pretty much ready to go on the fly. Another really cool thing about Trello is they also have power-ups. So for me personally, um, because I've reached my personal power-up limit, um, for me personally, I use the calendar on everything. But what is really cool is you can also add a peer in. So how I was saying before, if I wanted to give Marcus access to this and we wanted to hop on a call from time to time to talk about whatever it is that's going on here, this is great if you're working with a team, then you can you can add a peer into this. And then basically with that, all you have to do is you just click on it and then you're able to have that call. But as you can see, there's a ton of different things over here um, that they allow you to do with this app. Now back on the boards page, Another thing that's really cool is, okay, let's say I'm going to go into this one. Let's say that you want to look at it in this view just for the sake of organizing something else. 
So maybe this is about your website or maybe this is about your Patreon that you're setting up. So what you can do is you can say, okay, these are the things that I need to do for this particular thing. So in my case, it would be my Patreon to where I would say, okay, I need to make a homepage video. I haven't done that. I need to make a thank you video because I'm just using an image right now. Um, right now I'm working on a thumbnail class for it. So once this is finished, how the, all of this works is I would say, okay, this is something that I'm working on now. So I would move this over here. And then once it's complete, then I would move it over to here or I would just delete it out. But if you're working with other people, letting other people know what is done um, is super valuable, super powerful for basically keeping everybody on the same page so they know what needs to be done versus what has been done already. But you can also, once we put that back over here, you can also use this as kind of a priority list. So let's say I said, okay, hey, I wanna add my presentation class in front of the video setup video then I can just move that around and then it's basically listed by order of importance and it's super easy. And then once I start working on the individual things, then I can pull them over into the doing section, which makes it really easy to understand, you know, hey, these are the things I need to do. This is what I'm working on right now. These are the things that I've completed. The sticker packs are also cool. So let's say that I wanted to add a star to this one, then I would just basically just add that and say, okay, well this right here, this contact flow, it's really important. So I need to make sure that this one stands out to me or to somebody else that would have access to this board. Let's say that somebody put together the services list for me, somebody that had access to this board and I wasn't happy with it. Then I would just take this and I would drop it in here and I would say, uh, I'm not happy with this, which basically means that, hey, you need to get in here and work on this. But overall on the, on the side of organization, Trello is absolutely amazing. And if it wasn't for Trello, I would be falling out all over the place because basically Trello for me personally, it helps me keep my business on track. It helps me keep my YouTube channel on track. It helps me plan and organize everything that I'm doing for the future as well. And Trello for me personally has been a game changer. As you know, if you are a regular viewer on my channel, um, I normally don't do sponsored videos. I think I've done one or two other sponsored videos on my channel. And as soon as they reached out to me, I jumped on this one in a second because it is something that I use on a regular basis and something that I strongly believe in because it's something that I use personally. So if you are interested in Trello, definitely head over to trello.com. There'll also be a link down in the description that will send you directly over to them so you can check out Trello for yourself. And if you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.